You've no doubt heard all of the horror stories about ransomware. But what happened if I told you that you could protect yourself from ransomware for free in Windows 11? I'm sure you'd be interested. Well, stay tuned for today's video. But before we start, a quick introduction as always. My name is Jonathan Edwards. I'm a business IT consultant from Yorkshire in the UK. I've got an IT company called Integral IT and we help businesses all over the UK with their IT support, their Microsoft 365 and their cyber security. Now do me a quick favour, if you get any value from this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Now ransomware is a nasty little thing. A cyber criminal comes along and scrambles up all of your data. You can't use it, you can't read it, can't do anything with it. Now the only way you can get your data back is by getting the encryption key. And how do you do that? Well you get it off the cyber criminal by paying a ransom. You don't wanna do that. Now there are so many ways that you can reduce your risk of getting ransomware. If you remember one of my previous videos, cyber security is a little bit like an onion. The different layers of protection help to protect you. So what can you do? Well, you could use extreme caution when opening attachments in an email. You could make sure that your computer and all the software applications installed on your computer are always kept up to date. And you could have a really good backup in place. So if you did get ransomware, you can just restore your data from the backup without paying that ransom. But there's another way you can use to protect yourself against ransomware, and it doesn't cost you anything if you're using a Windows 10 or a Windows 11 computer. There's a feature called controlled folder access and if you turn this on it can help protect your data against ransomware and it might just be turned off on your computer so how does controlled folder access work well when you turn it on it protects certain folders against ransomware it means that only trusted applications can access the data inside of these folders you can choose which folders you want to protect against ransomware it means if ransomware tries to get the data inside of these folders Hypothetically, it shouldn't be able to. Now in a moment, we're gonna jump onto my Windows 11 computer behind me, and I'm gonna show you how to turn controlled folder access on. But as with all these videos, please use my advice with caution. Sometimes when you turn control folder access on, it can stop certain applications from working. It shouldn't do, but it can. So without further ado, let me show you how. So what I need to do is go into the security center. So I can go to here, I can right click, and I can go into settings. From here, you'll get all these options down here, and we want privacy and security. And then from there, we want to go to the top, and you can see here it says Windows Security, and then open Windows Security. So this is the Windows Security. It's got all these different protection modules here. We want the top one, which is Virus and Threat Protection. So this is the Windows Defender Antivirus, but you'll see at the bottom, it says Ransomware Protection. And you can see here it says manage ransomware protection. So at the moment, we've got this setting called controlled folder access, which is switched to off. So our ransomware protection is switched to off. So all we simply do is switch it to on. And then we click on yes. And then we get some more options here. So we've got three options. We can look at the history, see what's been blocked. And then we can look at protected files. So we're going to here. And we can see that all these folders, so my documents, my pictures, um, and other pictures, videos, videos, music, these are all protected against ransomware. What we can do if there's another folder with data in is we can add a protected folder. And then we can just browse that folder and add that to the protection, okay? So we can go back. And then also, if we do have something that gets blocked, so if our controlled folder access blocks an application or something from working, we can simply go in here and we can add that to the allowed app list. So that is how to turn ransomware protection on on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. As I mentioned at the outset, cybersecurity is like an onion. Control folder access is free and it can provide a layer in your fight against ransomware. So why not use it? I look forward to seeing you again soon.